Listen here, Detective, you've interviewed me a thousand times and my story won't change. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I don't know if anyone saw me. It's not as if I saddled up a horse and took a gallop dressed as Lady Godiva. I merely went about my business. Granted, there is a sort of conspicuousness about me that often doesn't go unnoticed. Well, when I returned home, Johnny was floating in the pool like a wild-eyed trout with scurvy, and that's all I know. Oh. You know, Detective, I... I haven't been able to use my pool since. Well, kid, Detective, just because I'm grieving doesn't mean I have to cry alone. Why, well, sure, most nights you can't find me tucked away at a little corner booth at some over repulsive supper club, but... Staying home alone makes me nervous. I get fussy. Is that a crime? You listen here, Detective. I'm innocent and I will not be brought down by a pack of lies. I've worked too long and too hard. Why, I came to this town penniless with nothing more than a dream, some old tobacco juice, and an ordinary house cat. And mark my words, I am not leaving until everyone knows my name.